I am not kidding when I say I've never built a house in The Sims 1 in my life. Even when I was a kid, I tried, but I used to just give up because it was just too hard. But here we are, I'm giving it a go. I'm just gonna try and build it like I would build like a normal suburban house in The Sims 4. Although I'm already like, oh my God, we don't have platforms. What am I gonna do? Like I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed already. I'm not gonna lie. And we've already got weird stuff. Oh my God, look at this sci-fi column. Sims 4 could never. I mean, I'm thinking if I just do like little bits coming off. Let's see how I want to try and make it look nice. I am going to try my best to make it nice. Although it's difficult in The Sims 1 because we don't have like proper room tools like we did in The Sims 4. I mean, truth be told, I'm not actually the biggest fan of The Sims 4 room tools, but in a situation like this, I could see how they would be useful because I am struggling a little bit. I'm not going to lie, guys. We also don't have porches in The Sims 1, do we? Really? You can't do like decking outside or anything. It's all basically ground level. And as far as I'm aware, all of the roofs are auto roofs. So I can't really like choose my own roof. I basically just have to go with, you know, the style that it gives me. I mean, it looks all right. It doesn't look severe. See, is that all right? Is that a vibe? And then maybe on this side, we can just do a little bit coming out the edge, I guess. Or should we do it on the top and the bottom just to make it more like equal? I think that looks a little bit better. Oh, and I forgot in The Sims 1, we don't have swatches. So what you see is what you get, basically. So one really random thing about The Sims 1 is this specific door is actually like a double door, but you place two single ones. Isn't that weird? Because you don't really have like any proper double doors in The Sims 1. The only double door we have is this big monstrosity. And we got a huge archway too, but we haven't got any like proper double doors. So I think we're just gonna have to do it that way. Oh my God, it's so Somebody mowing their lawn. Why do people always make noise when I start a video? I apologize for getting aggressive, firstly. Secondly, I apologize if you can hear somebody mowing their lawn outside. Anyway, trying to find swatches in The Sims 1 is horrendous because literally everything is like, oh my God, look at that. Is that like glass? That is actually pretty cool if it was like, do you know what I love to see in The Sims 4? Like um, this kind, you know, like that kind of square glass that you see in some buildings like this and it's like slightly see-through. I would love that wouldn't that be cool i think the sims team should take a look at sims one things for inspiration do you know what maybe that's a good idea because we all know the sims 4 is in a little bit of a state right now why don't the sims team go take have a little play of the sims 1 have a little play of the sims 2 see what you're missing because that's a good way to like refresh the brain isn't it because you're like seeing what it used to be like why right? everybody fell in love with it in the first place it's a nice refresh i quite like you see the yellowish bricks here and then and do we have like a white paint or something that we can use on the other ones? Or maybe we could have some slidings. Although I quite like this brick actually. I'm not sure which brick. So many decisions. Okay, I think I might use the slidey things on the bits coming up because then we could pretend it's like an extension that they paid for. Trying to like put the paint on the walls in The Sims 1 is really difficult. I can't explain it. It's just really difficult to get my mouse to go in the right place. All right, I think we've done it. Guys, does it look good or does it look horrendous? Us. I mean, considering, okay, it looks pretty bad, but considering it's a Sims one, okay, sorry, the slidey, the slidings, they're gonna go. I mean, in the UK, it's pretty easy because all of our houses are just, do you know what I mean, orange bricks. We don't have to think about all this stuff. If you were to have told eight-year-old me that one day it would be my job to build houses in the Sims one, I would have been like, what on earth are you on about, mate? Me, of all people. I mean, I quite like this brick, actually, the gallery one, because it's more subtle. It doesn't look as dramatic. On a very slightly deep note, do you know what guys? I am very glad that this is how I make my income. Thank you very much for supporting me and watching my videos and things. I do very much appreciate it. I've known my entire life, literally my whole life, I never want a normal job. I never want an office job. I never want to do something normal and boring. I just want to do something that I enjoy. And I honestly thought for so long, like what am I actually going to do? How am I going to do what I mean, make a living? And then I came across YouTube and I was like, this is a pretty good idea i'm gonna give this a go and now i've given it a go and now it's my job do i want to be a sims youtuber forever i don't know i do love playing the sims i think i want to be a simulation gaming youtuber forever i love simulation games but i think oh my god guys look at this carpet <laughs> 
Sims 4 could never. But yeah, as a YouTuber, I think all YouTubers, but especially Sims YouTubers go through this phase where we're like, oh my God, I can't do this one thing forever. I can't play this one singular game forever. But the way the YouTube recommendation system works is like, if you do anything different, it's like, nope, sorry. And it doesn't like promote any of the videos. It's the way the YouTube algorithm works is it basically works on a channel level. So it, it basically associates your channel with a theme. So like the other day, well, the other month, I uploaded a video of me getting my sack and crack waxed. Ah! Charlie, don't tell me when you're gonna do it. Just do it. Just Fucking. Ah! And people were actually finding the video by searching for Sims 4 because the YouTube algorithm thinks my account is a Sims 4 account. So whenever people like search on YouTube Sims 4, it just shows all of my videos, including the random ones that got nothing to do with the Sims, such as a video of me getting my crack waxed. So yeah, it is really tough making the change, but one day in the future, I would like to do more different kinds of simulation games. I would also love to be a vlogger. Not that I know anything about vlogging but it was honestly my dream forever actually to be a vlogger instead of like a gaming youtuber i love being a gaming youtuber don't get me wrong but i would also love to do vlogging too oh my god guys this house actually looks so cute so far i say it looks cute it looks horrendous because i'm trying to build it in the sims one but it's going good regardless i think we're doing okay there's not that much like stuff oh my god look at these windows isn't that cool sims 4 could never there we go we've got a little three piece one that'll be good i'm not gonna lie it is very difficult to get things symmetrical in the sims one it's just something about the way the game works but i mean are the blue windows a vibe do you know what i think they are i think they are although it's a shame we can't get it to work around the whole house in a way that's even although in real life i feel like houses are not like super even especially windows if you look at real life houses like promise you have a look real life house windows are bloody weird you will never ever see a house with nice normal windows ever it's just the rule i don't know why it's just people who build houses are clearly not very good at doing windows. Neither am I, for that matter. I mean, do we want a back door as well? I think we do. A door into our very tiny yard. I don't know why I built the house so far up. We can't bring it down either like we can in The Sims 4, so that's a little spot of bother. Do I think The Sims 4 build tools are the best in any Sims game? Yes, I do. There are some things I miss about previous Sims games. For example, did you know The Sims 1 had a bloody pond tool in the base game? Sims 4, it did take them like eight years, seven years to give us a pond tool in the sims 4 but they did finally do it but it was a little bit late now i'm just i know it's really ugly i'm just putting a purple carpet down just so we have something there and then we gotta do the stairs i honestly find doing stairs in the sims so stressful i don't know why it's so stressful oh my god look at these stairs doesn't that staircase look cool sims 4 could never oh look cut curved stairs again what am i gonna say sims 4 could oh spiral stairs sims 4 could never oh a bloody teleporter sims 4 could never oh my god look at this crooked one that's like really creepy see i miss all this stuff about the sims one i just want something plain is this plain enough you can't really make stairs like double width in the sims one either it's really annoying so we're just gonna have to pretend it's like double width and just put two together does that look all right i think it does and then if we remove the floorboards here honestly see this is one thing i love about older sims games doing flooring was so easy like you can just remove random bits of the floor and it's gone in the sims 4 it's really difficult i find with the room tools to like put them in and take them out anyways now we need like a banister fence thingy but we don't really have them do we guys am i going crazy i can't find like a normal fence do you know what i mean i just want like a fence like a, okay we've got a banister thing here but it's in white i guess we gotta have a white one we don't have any other colors can't intersect can we move objects underscore uh, on on this one will that work sorry no such cheat excuse me or is it move underscore objects on i always forget the cheats they're always different in every sims game okay will that work nope can't intersect okay i balled something up what if we get rid of that window well, that sort the issue out. Yes, it has. Okay, goodbye window then. Can't have you anymore. Oh, that's so annoying. We can't put it there. Oh my God, I really wanted that window. I feel a bit heartbroken. We've got to have these ugly ones now. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. The guys, I failed to consider. We've only got a little bit of flooring here. So I think what I'm going to do is remove this one bit of stair. Oh my God, something went wrong. And now I'll delete the floor. I just want to move this one little bit of stairs here. Why is it deleting the floor? Oh my God, that's so random. And I say The Sims 4 is glitchy. Because if we remove this 
one bit of staircase. See, I'm talking to myself, guys, by the way. I think what if I remove the banisters in total, then what I'm thinking is we just put a wall around it because that's what a British house is like. In British houses, we don't really have banisters because our houses are too small. We just have walls. So if I do a wall right, and then we can have a little shower in there and then sub bathroom. See, I'm getting it now. Can have a bedroom over here, a little one, a big bedroom over there. Absolutely gorgeous. Although I must say this is probably the most weekly design house in the world. I'm literally making this up on the spot. That's why it's a bit strange. But you know what? Life's too short to have a plan. Call me 2012, but I am going for a beige look. I like beige. I do not, I don't like, I used to love the modern house look. I used to love everything white, everything clear. I just feel like it's getting a bit out of fashion now. And I feel bad when people make their houses look so white because I just don't find it that homely. I think it used to be really, really cool. I used to really love the idea of having a house like that. I just think these days it's not really a vibe anymore. I think at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you feel homely and comfortable. I used to love the idea of a proper clean house, but nowadays I think to myself, like it wouldn't be like personalized. Do you know what I mean? If it was my house, I'd want it to be personal to me. Oh my God, guys, on a completely unrelated note, look at this little toilet here. <laughs> Sims 4 could never. Shout out to Sims Medieval. Oh my God, look at this. Square hot tubs. We've got a stone one and we've got a regular one. Sims 4 could never. Oh my God, urinals. Sims 4 could never. Oh my God, guys, my Sims 1 is frozen. Oh my God, I haven't saved. I haven't saved. Guys, I didn't save. <laughs> Oh my God, thank God it's not frozen. Oh, no it is. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Don't touch, don't touch. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, save, save, save. Oh my God, it's frozen in the save screen. I don't wanna look. 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 Oh my God, I think I need a nervous poo. Oh my God, I think it's saved. All right, what do I call it? Save game. I don't know how saving works in The Sims 1. Oh my God. I don't want to lose the house. Okay, I think it's safe. We're all right. Anyways, do I put a pretentious statue in my bathroom? Yes, I do. Do I put another one? Yes, I do. Well, look at these little bushes. Should we put them at the front? That looked nice outside, won't it? Is that, oh my God, a Christmas tree. I'm so excited for Christmas. I don't know about anybody else, but when I used to build kitchens in The Sims 1, I always used to go for like a proper chef kitchen. Oh my God, does anybody remember these counters? Oh my God, Sims 4 could never. Now, is this a lot of counters? Yes, it is. Perhaps Perhaps I have been a little bit dramatic. Oh my God, we even had a bloody pizza oven in The Sims 1. And a full on popcorn machine. We got the espresso machines. We got the microwave. What more do you want? I am gonna get rid of these tables and do a little breakfast bar. Do you know what? I wouldn't mind a kitchen like this for myself. I think it looks quite nice. What is this weather vane drink dispenser? The Sims 1 honestly has the most <laughs> random objects in the world. Should we put, um, as if you can just buy a roast turkey from Pill by Mode. Gobble, gobble. Should we chuck a little roast turkey on my little table? There we go. Oh my God, the lack of color swatches in The Sims 1 is killing me. I mean, are real life houses that well done? Excluding the Instagrammy show homes, like are real life houses really that nice? Oh my God, what is this? Cookies, Granny Raymond's holiday cookies. Oh, that's sweet. Should we put some cookies on the dining room table? Should we have a little pop art painting? Nothing in The Sims 1 really matches anyway. So I don't think it really matters. If it's not matching. Oh my God. I mean, oh my God. I forgot, completely forgot. We had the animal cruelty rugs in The Sims 1. <laughs> I mean, do we go for a really severe tiger rug in The Sims 1? Is that bad? It is extremely bad, but I'm doing it anyway because it is Sims 1 era. So we're allowed to get away with being horrible in Sims 1 era. People back then didn't know. Do we have seat? I used to love the love seat thingy. Oh my God, what on earth? The bunda! <laughs> As if this chair's called the bunda. I mean, that is a big bunda chair, but what I'm looking for, oh my God, what on earth is this sofa? What on earth? Here it is, the iconic Sims 1. Is that the iconic? Iconic Sims 1 love seat, or am I making it up? I believe it is, so we're gonna chuck that in there next to our rather unethical rug, or shall I put our unethical rug over here? Are we having an unethical bird cage? Yes, we are. So I think this is like the ugliest living room I've ever seen in my life. But honestly, building houses.
houses nicely in the sims one is so hard you have absolutely no idea although i think doing exteriors in the sims one is a lot easier so now we've done the bedrooms too what i'm thinking of is giving up on the inside and just doing the outside oh my god look at this tree it literally looks how i feel deep on the inside i mean the thing is about the sims one everything has to be on a grid so we can't like mix it all around like we can in the sims 4 although if we do like a little fence or is that little fence a little bit not little do you know what i mean i want a little fence is this a little fence even that's a little bit too big i want something to go across the floor but i don't think we have one so i will just do this one here I and mean, that looks all right i guess yes in the back garden we are having a pool we can't really fit a big pool so we're gonna have to have a little one. Oh no we can it's just a very strangely <laughs> shaped pool and it's gonna be right up against the house but we can pretend it's normal it's a sims one days it's allowed to be weird should we even have this slide going into the pool sims 4 could never ponds in the sims one are very weird as well like you just kind of like place it like this do you know what i mean it's very strange you just place it like a floor tile it's a little bit weird and it doesn't look like a pond it looks more just like a damp puddle that's the only way i can describe it i must say sims 4 built tools are superior so guys what are we thinking do we like the sims 1 house would you live here <laughs> I fucking would not. And on that note, if you want to see me do any other kind of build challenges, funny build videos, I have a whole playlist here. So make sure you check that out now. See you in the next one.